Hey everyone, so I just want to walk you through how I actually got the uh, scratch code um, and what it looks like uh, in order to put voice uh, and attach that to your book. So here you can actually see the complete some of the completed code that I have. And the reason I just set it up this way is just so you can see that it's not complicated and if you're not familiar with um, programming or coding at all, that it's still easy to do. So I'm not going to touch any of these. I'm just going to leave these alone for a second and just show that this is how easy it is to do. So I'm just going to create a new one. You can see that I have Julius going to bed book, but I'm going to go to my events tab, uh, which is at the top here around events. I'm going to select and I'm going to grab the uh, set, second button down, which is when space key is pressed. I'm going to drag that over. And if you click on the right, like to the right of where it says space bar, there's a little arrow there and you have a drop down menu to switch this with any keys. And because we're using makey makey, the primary keys that we want to use is space bar, up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. Um, and we can use the back of the board to enhance the amount of pages that we're using, but for right now, I'm just going to stick with these buttons. So for now, I'm just going to use, um, let's just see, which one didn't I use? Right arrow. Okay. So when right arrow is pressed, I am going to go to my sound block and I'm going to grab play sound and it, right now it's on recording four. So what I want to do is that's all well and good, but if I want to record a new sound, what I want to do is select the right arrow on the play sound block and then I'm going to scroll down and go to record. This will create a recording five or I could change this title to be uh, page five uh, just for reference to make it easier for you. And then all I want to do in order to record my voice here is I'm going to scroll down and uh, hover over the record option and then I'm just going to press that and it will allow me to record. So I'll just do a test one just so you can see. So I'm gonna hit the uh, round record button. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I stop my code and now I can actually play it back. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And if I feel it's sufficient, I can do it and use this clip. If not, I could delete it. Um, but I'm gonna go back to my scripts page along the top. And now where it says recording four, I'm gonna use my drop down arrow again and select page five. Now when I hit right arrow on my keyboard or using my makey makey, testing, testing, one, two, three, and it's all there. And all I have to do is keep repeating this process. So if I want to do this again, I could go to events. Instead of when space key is pressed, maybe I could use the A button and then I would go back to sound and page five and then I would go down and I would record a new sound just so everyone uh, sees what we're doing there. So if you have any questions, please, again, feel free to reach out at any time. I hope this works for you. Thank you.